Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you the Purpose Trailer from RKS Off-Road. This Purpose Trailer is designed for extreme off-road adventures. Now if that's not the kind of camping that you do, that's okay. There's so many interesting features on this, you'll want to check it out. It's only 17 foot 9 inches long, it weighs 2,700 pounds, and when it's all folded down, the height is 6 foot 11. The two great features on this trailer are the sky deck, because there's so many possibilities when you can stand on the roof, and then there's also the stand-up bathroom. Before we get started, I want to mention that trailers are constantly changing and evolving, so if you're interested in the Purpose Trailer, be sure to check with your dealer to see if anything might have changed since this video. Now, let's go inside and get started. This bathroom space feels so open. It's three foot by five foot and seven foot four inches tall. Now the canvas around it, of course, opens completely in the front and the back. That's really nice because this is the way you access that sky deck. There are screens on the sides, so if you needed to leave it open, get some ventilation, you could keep those closed, have the screens on the side. All right, let's look on this back wall. Storage right back here with some nylon pockets. This is the intake for the furnace, and two lower vents are going to be the furnace coming into the restroom here. Water controls, the left is going to turn it on and off, and the right is going to control the temperature. There is a button on the top if you want the extreme hot temperature. That way it can't be turned on really hot by accident. The shower in the corner raises up so you can set it at whatever height is comfortable for you. Now, it is held on the back by a grid that has holes in it for toothbrushes, bath accessories, that type of thing. And on the roof here, there are loops built in so that you could add things like a curtain rod with a curtain that's maybe gonna block off the toilet and sink if you wanted some showering aside from that, or maybe just to keep that part of the bathroom dry. There are other loops up there for hanging a lantern, uh, anything else that you'd like to have in your shower accessible. The opposite wall is an acrylic mirror, and that's always nice. The button at the top is going to turn off the lights. Right under that, that's going to be the fan. Underneath the sink, plenty of space there for storage toilet paper holder, and a conditioner tank so you never have to add chemicals. Now this is an unusual toilet to find in an RV because it's actually a marine toilet. What that means is that it has a macerator so you never have to worry about troubles dumping this tank, and it can flush with gray water or fresh water. The controls for changing it between seawater and fresh water, which of course seawater is gray water, is right here on the front and the water pump is right on the back. This is a porcelain toilet, so they have done a great job putting quality in this. ABS pan on the bottom, all the water's going to flow down. There's a drain right underneath my feet and this rubber floor mat that's going to come up so that you can clean underneath it if you need to. One more thing I want to show you, this is your access up to that sky deck. Foot pedals right here for climbing up, and right in the far corner is going to be a plug, so you can plug in that margarita machine. Just saying. Just as you go into the sleeping area, all the controls are right here on your right. This bottom switch is a battery disconnect. Now that's going to disconnect the whole trailer since the entire operation is battery operated. Just above it, controls for the puck lighting right up here in the ceiling and the same thing for exterior lighting. On the left, turns on and off the recessed lighting behind the panel, and down below, this is simply a heater sensor. Above that is the battery monitor. There is some extra technology built into this piece of gear. It's got wireless, Bluetooth, GPS tracking, if you wanna learn how to use all that, 
Mostly, it's used to monitor your battery power. Above that is the Truma heater. Now that is the heat for the trailer, and just above this dial is going to be the water heater. Above that, you'll see the NTF stereo. There are speakers just inside here and speakers in the kitchen, so you control where the sound comes from. The living space in this trailer could be set up for almost anything, for sitting, sleeping, or working. And you notice there's T-Track on the floor, so if you're hauling something, you can easily tie it down or add some interesting accessories. Now this panel folds up onto the wall, and on the other side, it does the same. The back wall has two speakers in the top and a smart TV that runs off the inverter, the shelf underneath, and a 110 plug with two USBs. It is very simple to fold these beds up, just push that cushion right up against the wall, and there's a spring clip on the end, it goes right into place. I am always impressed to see components laid out so cleanly and so accessible like this. On the end, there is a Zero Breeze air conditioner, and it is 12 volt air conditioner that is run through the Orion inverter right here in the center. To the right, you'll see breakers, fuses, and a controller on the end there. The star of the show really is this Victron inverter right here, a 1500 watt, and it is optimized at the factory before they install it in this trailer. And it works with lithium batteries. Now this trailer is outfitted with Lion Energy batteries with 210 amp hours. Right here in between all of the components, you'll see a loop of wire. That is there because every trailer is built for all the options that are available. You can add a solar controller right there and add solar panels on the top. It just isn't on this particular trailer. A few more things. Right up here, two USBs and a nice net to hold all the gear that you might need to charge there. The windows on each side are dual pane acrylics and the handles have a push button in the middle. Just push that button, open the latches, and when you push it open, you'll hear a click and it can stop right there. There are screens, they pull up from the bottom. You can clip them at the top or pull down the blackout shade. Now let's head outside and take a look at what's out there. The outside of this trailer is just as rugged and unique as the inside. They do have different graphics, so be sure to check that out online. And let's start with the ground clearance. This trailer has 18 inch ground clearance, so rugged can go over lots of rough terrain. The fenders are very sturdy, so don't hesitate to stand on them if you need to. Off-road 18 inch tires, and look at this T-track running down the center of the wall across the roof and down the back. There is T-Track all over this trailer. Why? Because that's an easy way to add all kinds of great accessories. They've used that to actually do the rear stabilizer jack. It is a manual jack, so you simply pull it down to the height that you need, but it works great. The rear kitchen has a 96 liter Truma. Now this has two compartments and you can set one for a freezer, one for a refrigerator, or of course, both the same. Really a ton of space in here. Open them up so we can get a shot. And it is removable so you can take it out, move it to a different area of the campsite. On this side, you'll see a 110 plug and in the back, the 12 volt plug where the trim is plugged in. This switch underneath is the light right above me. Water tank controls are right here on the side. Now, these are a little different than you're used to seeing, but you have the input on the pump here as either tanks or country fill. Now that means either coming out of the tank or from the side of the trailer. The pressure source, of course, either your pump or the shore inlet. And the output is gonna be either to the house, which means the faucet, or if you are dumping the tanks. On the side is the water pump switch and three monitors for your water tanks. These are really nice monitors because you have the fresh gray and the black, and they are extremely accurate. 
Let's talk about the tanks for just a minute. You have two 35 gallon fresh tanks and the monitor is on the rear tank. So keep that in mind if your trailer's not level. There is a 60 gallon black tank and a 25 gallon gray tank. Tons of water capacity for this size trailer. The gas stove is hanging on a bracket attached to the back door. Now, you can either use a one pound bottle, there is an adapter to use that, or you could hook it up to the trailer because this trailer comes with a 25 foot gas hose. The connection is right on the tongue. To travel, you simply need to fold it up against the door. Just fold the top down. Now lift this tray up out of the slots in the back and you only attach the top one. And once you do that, it simply folds up Tighten the latch around the front of it to hold it secure and you're ready to go. If you need to carry a little more gear, there is a utility hitch on the back. It's rated for 150 pounds, so you could put a tray on the back or a bicycle rack, whatever it is you need. Coming around the side, you do at the very back have your water fill right here. Part of the reason that this trailer is so capable is that it has the Timbrin axleless suspension. It also has the upgrade to the 18 inch tires. And when you get that upgrade, it includes the electric hydraulic disc brakes. In front of the wheel well is a cable connection and a portable solar port in case you wanted to add exterior solar panels. Right here on the driver's side at the top, there is a vent where you can actually buy accessories to heat a room up at the top, maybe on the sky deck or under the awning out here. Great feature. Now down below, this is where you'd connect to shore power with the trailer. And below that, the gas port for hooking up to either the stove or any other items you'd like to use gas with. Let's look inside this box. Has a nice latch on the front and it opens sideways on both sides. And again, easy access to everything that might need attention. At the top, the Truma Aquago that heats the water. Down below, this is gonna be your Truma heat for the trailer. And you'll notice all the hoses that run through there. So easy to see if there's any issues there. You do have a space right here. This is specifically designed for a Honda 2000 generator. We'll fit right in here if you'd like to carry that. Below is the crank system for raising and lowering the roof on the bathroom. It is super simple to do. The crank just goes in the end right here. And once you've got it lowered down, there are four latches that hold it into place. Underneath, we show one five gallon propane tank, but there is plenty of room for a second one right next to it. And it has an easy ratchet strap to hold it into place. In front of that, this Hydrostar control is your electric hydraulic brake actuator. And of course the electric breakaway system right up here in the front. The hitch on the purpose trailer is the lock and roll, and it allows this trailer to rotate on rough terrain, all different directions without any problem. I want to point out just how strong this is. They have this large beam going back to a crossbar on this tongue. It's very unusual, but they want to be sure this trailer can really take a beating. Take a look at the jack on the side. Now this is a 750 pound arc tongue jack and it can raise and lower and it can also swivel out of the way. So it's extremely versatile for any height vehicle or any type of terrain. On this side, a 110 outlet plug and a vent for the Truma. This trailer has so many great features. I hope I've shown you a few of them that might be interesting. Thank you for joining us on our RV tours. I'm PJ and I look forward to seeing you next time.